Okay, today I'm going to review the Sailor 1911L. This pen was lent to me by my cousin um, who wanted me to use it for a while and then put together a little review for him. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, this is a Sailor 1911L. The nib is a 21 karat gold uh, medium nib. And the color of the pen is black with gold accents in trim. Starting on the exterior, we got the packaging here. It is uh, white, it has a white cardboard sleeve uh, with the gold sailor um, embossed or debossed uh, in that, that surface there. Uh, it's very sleek, very classy, very nice. Um, <clears throat> this slides out to review a blue, um, like a dark navy blue box. Um, also with the Sailor uh, logo there on the lid. Uh, the box itself has this nice gold trim that goes around uh, all edges of, or I'm sorry, not all edges. Uh, it goes around three edges. It does not go around the back. So it's the front and the sides of the lid right near where that lid opens. Um, I'm a little disappointed in this actually that they didn't do it on all four sides. It just stops. Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, I think if you're going to do something like that, then you should have just done the entire box. Um, it's a, it's a really nice touch and I really like it, but I'm just disappointed that they did not go around all four sides. Uh, when you open the box, um, it is a, just a hinged box and the hinge feels very stiff and sturdy and it is really, really nice to open. Uh, it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. Um, very stiff opening and, and sturdy. Uh, when you open it, uh, inside of the lid is kind of like the silk lining, also with Sailor uh, there and the, the anchor logo on the top. And then the pen sits in this nice uh, bed. It's kind of like a felt um, fabric material. Uh, this is a, a ribbon covering a pen loop see if we can, yep, there you go. Uh, just an elastic pen loop uh, that holds the pen securely in place. Uh, nice touch. We have a little pull tab here to reveal a storage compartment area for papers and um, equipment that comes with it, the cartridge converter, uh, whatever comes with it. This pen is not brand new as my cousin's. So um, he, he has obviously taken that stuff out of the box. Packaging is, it's nicely done. It's pretty standard, uh, but just some nice touches here. Um, just really well done. Uh, the nice firm hinge there for the lid. Um, also just the re repetition of the Sailor logo in the same spot in all. Uh, three areas is just a really nice touch. I like that. Uh, if you, you know, forget what you purchased, um, hopefully you'll remember. Now, <clears throat> for the pen itself, uh, the pen is solid black, uh, as you can see here, with gold accents. Uh, it has a gold band here, a gold band here, and then a gold band here. So it has this like Repetition of these narrow, thin gold bands throughout the pen. Uh, the clip is gold, and then it has this gold band here that's actually engraved. Um, that band says, let's see if we can get this in here, Sailor Japan founded 1911. So it is really nice touch, uh, very elegant, um, it's 
very well done. I like the repeating uh, gold bands here throughout the pen. It just creates a repetition symmetry. And again, just gives it a very classic, sophisticated, elegant, yet simplistic feel and design to it. Very, very nice, very classy. Uh, the clip is solid gold, and it kind of has these three layered uh, surfaces to it. Uh, you can see that there. And this is, this is really nice. It creates um, a nice dynamic and texture to, to the clip. It takes something that's fairly boring and just with not much effort or detail, gives it some character and some definition and some texture. So I, I like um, how that clip was done there. And I think it's a, I think it's a good touch without getting too fancy or too complex. Um, <clears throat> with the cap off and posted, You actually get a repetition of those three gold bands uh, throughout the pen. So if you, uh, there we go, remove the cap, you can see here that you have one again at the top of the barrel and then right here, right at the top of the grip, uh, just, just before the threads for the cap. So. It's nice that they continued that, that design motif uh, throughout the entire pen. Uh, it would definitely look weird if this band was not here and you have this pen posted and it's just a solid black barrel into the grip. Um, it just look really weird. Uh, the grip, as you can see, is solid black. A nice taper to it and it has a very very nice well-defined uh, edge there um, which is just nice the nib is solid gold and it comes with some nice design features on it I uh, can see here that it's uh, inscribed with 1911 also the anchor sailor icon as well as 21 carat uh, 875 and then it says uh, sailor in let's see how close I can get this here um, it says sailor right there in kind of like a script font you can see there that 875 uh, maybe the number of the pen I'm not sure the number of the nib and then you got 1911 the anchor and then this really nice design that goes around the outside of that kind of reminds me of ropes possibly, but it follows the contour of the nib, which is, I think is just a really nice feature. Um, and it just kind of accents that shape, the shape of the nib, um, which is just really nice. You have HM. I'm actually not sure what the H stands for, but the M obviously is for the nib size. So this is a medium nib. Overall, um, the design feel of this pen is, is really nice. Uh, the shape of it um, kind of got this tip repeated here on the cap as well as here. You can see it's more tapered, more pointed um, at the top of the barrel uh, than here, but it's just a, a nice continued uh, shape throughout the entire piece. And then I forgot to show you the feed here is just standard, standard black feed. So performance. Let's start with the feel of the pen. How does the pen feel in your hand? It's light. It's surprisingly light. Um, looking at it, I would have expected a heavier pen. Um, the weight isn't a bad thing. In fact, it feels very nice. 
it's just lighter than I would have expected. Uh, the material feels good uh, in your hands. It's nice and smooth. Um, I'd say it is it's a warm material and it just feels, feels good to hold, feels good to touch. Um, posted, or I'm sorry, unposted. Um, the pen is just a little short, you can see there. I have bigger hands, but you can see here, it's just barely resting on that spot. And it just feels a little short. Uh, initially, when I first started using this pen, I was using it unposted, and then I started posting it. And uh, when I was posting it, having it in the hand was much, much nicer. A lot more, um, a lot more surface here, gives a lot more length to the pen once it's open. And the balance is really nice and it just rests nicely there between the thumb and the index finger. And it just feels, it feels really good. The weight's good, uh, feels good on your fingers, feels good on the skin, and it's just really nice to hold. Uh, as we're discussing posting, uh, let's continue in that thought. So this pen uh, posts fairly nicely. Uh, so it's just a screw on cap. And then the barrel here is just completely smooth. So when you post it, the cap just slides onto the barrel. Uh, it's really easy to post. Um, one thing I found is that you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to shove it on there. Otherwise, excuse me, otherwise you kind of have to shove it on there, otherwise it will work itself loose. So I have had it, it come loose on me a few times. Um, not very many, but it just was a good reminder to make sure it's on there nice and tight when posting. And then when taking it off, if you just kind of give it a spin, that helps break um, that seal and, and loose the pen or loose the the cap from the barrel. So it's kind of intermittent, but overall it, it posts nicely and, uh, and feels good. I have, like I said, while writing, I have had the cap kind of spin loose on me a couple times, um, but overall it's, it's very sturdy. It posts quite well and it's, it's easy to post. It doesn't have a screw on or anything like that. So that's, um, that's nice. I really like how the, the cap and the barrel are designed to come together. You can see here um, that the, the cap kind of has this tapered lip to it. And if we unscrew this and look, so I don't have the barrel fully unscrewed it, but you can see here, there's no threads yet. If we keep going, there are the threads. So the threads are set in from uh, the cap. Let's see that there. And what this does is when you slide it on and you put on the cap, you can see here that's, in a lot of pens, that's where the cap would meet, the barrel, right there, right at the edge, maybe like that. Um, as an example, I have this Nemesign here, nice pen, I like it. Um, you can see here the cap just meets the barrel flush, right? And other, other pens handle the, that differently. This is the only pen I have near at the time, but it's just, it's a nice flush and this is a nice design, I like it. Uh, but with the Sailor, how this is designed is when you cap it, that that little lip then ex kind of extends over the barrel. And I really like the effect that this creates. It You feel like the cap fits over the pen uh, versus on the pen. And thus in fitting over the pen, it kind of encapsulates the nib and the grip section, right? Um, which is really nice, I, I really like that uh, design feature. It's it's a small one, it's simple, but it's nice. And the cap screws on very firmly, uh, good, good tight seal there. Clip functions well, it's sturdy. 
uh, holds on tightly. Um, just a normal, fairly standard metal clip. And it works well. It It's a little tight, and so you may have to use some extra force to get it to slide on to whatever you're trying to clip it to. Um, but overall, it, it does a really good job. It clips on nicely, holds on, it's tight, so it's good. Going back to the inside of the pen, the grip feels really, really good. Uh, I really like it. It's, it's nice to hold, it's nice to grip. Um, it's smooth, but it's not slippery. Um, the, the grip itself has a very slight taper to it. See there? And then again, this edge is just so, so well done. Um, it's not a, as you can tell, it's not just a solid edge, right? Um, it has a very slight taper there at that edge. And then it goes up to the edge and it's just a nice tangible spot. Like that's where my fingers kind of rest up against, right? It's just, just barely against that edge. And it's really nice. I really like the edge. It's nice to hold. Um, the edge, the edge itself allows you to feel where your fingers are on the, on the grip. And it's just really, really well done. The nib is, I think, a nice size. Uh, it's not one of these massive nibs, but it's also not a tiny nib, right? Uh, if we pull the Nemesign back over, see this nib, they're, they're fairly close in size, the Nemesign being a little longer, uh, slightly longer, but uh, fairly close in size. And I think it's a, it's a, good, it's a good size nib, um, again, not too tiny and not insanely large either. The medium feels like a very firm medium. So um, I know sometimes mediums can look like broads or look like fines, just depending on the manufacturer and uh, where, you know, who's making the nib, what origin, where is this manufacturer based out of, um, kind of what's their history within the, the pen world. Uh, but this feels like pretty firm medium to me, like a very nice medium. I can just show you a brief writing sample here. Um, so this, <clears throat> this here is uh, the sailor medium. And then if we just slide over to this page here, this is the Nemesign fine. And so can look there. It's just, it's a really, really nice weight. I really like it. Um, the nib has felt a little scratchy to me at times, not always, but occasionally. And I, I think it really just depends on what paper you're using and then also what surface you're writing on. So are you writing on a notebook or are you writing on loose leaf paper on a hard flat surface? Um, so it's not all the time, but occasionally it, it does feel a little scratchy. Like the cap, uh, if we unscrew the barrel here, See, the threads are also set in from the edge with the barrel as well. Um, see that inside there? I, I really like this design approach. I think, it's, I think it's a very nice approach. And as kind of an added uh, benefit here, there's this lip with an O-ring and the barrel fits over that just there and just snugs right up. I don't know if this pen can be eyedroppered or not. Um, regardless, having that O-ring there is just a nice safeguard against uh, any leakage uh, that may occur um, inside the barrel and it you know prevents that ink from coming out and, and spilling out. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, I really like it. Um, 
The converter. Good grief. The converter is a converter. There it is. It's a converter. Moving on. Just want to look at this nib again. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail. Um, I've seen more detailed nibs, but I just like how elegant, intricate, yet simplistic this is. It's not over the top. Um, I like the 1911. I like the anchor. Um, the 21 carat feels nice to write with. Uh, it has a good action, it's smooth. I, like I said, it can be a little scratchy at times, but overall it's just, it just writes so wonderfully. So I think my, my final thoughts here on the Sailor 1911 L are these. This is a beautiful pen. When I first saw it in its box, I just sat there and I just looked at it because it's such a beautiful, elegant pen. It's simplistic, but sophisticated and elegant all at the same time. It is a joy to use. I love how it feels in your hand. The weight is good, the texture is good, it's smooth, it's warm. Uh, it's nice to hold. It, it posts nicely, except for those few instances where I've had issues with the cap working loose. It posts very, very nicely. And the thing is just so, so classy. It's such a classy pen. And just look at it. Look at it. Just beautiful. It's so classy. I just love it. And this, for me, is an everyday writer. If I own one, which I do now, because I don't think my cousin's gonna get this one back. He'll have to hunt me down and probably kill me in my sleep in order to get it back. Um, just kidding. I will, I will give it back to him. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's an everyday writer. Really, when I first started using it, I'm like, I don't need to own another pen. This is literally the only pen I ever need to own. Um, one drawback, one thing that I just thought of in regards to everyday writing with this pen is that, I'll, I'll just show you guys now. Go to write with this pen, you unscrew the cap. Write with the pen, screw the cap back on. It's not terrible, but I feel like um, the way these threads are designed, the way the cap is designed, again, it's not terrible, but it feels like it takes forever to screw on the cap and screw off the cap. Um, just a side note. And yeah, I'd, it's like the only drawback, I think, to having this be a daily writer pen. But other than that, this pen is amazing. I love it. It is classy, it's beautiful, it feels good sophisticated, it's simplistic, and it's, it's the only pen you need to own. Sailor 1911L. Thank you.